What is important about synchrony is that it's nonverbal. It's like your gaze or your smile or your pattern of touch. But what is very, very, very important is that it's diet specific. It's specific to you and this baby. And even if you have two or three or four babies, you will create those little rituals, these little matched patterns with each one of your children differently. Okay? And those specific patterns are matched between a parent and a child. They take a little bit of a different form with mothers and fathers. So mothers would be more like they're looking at each other, smiling together, co-vocalizing, you know, and women carry it on in their life, let's say when they are with their best friend and they go to the coffee shop and they look at each other. With the father, it's much more stimulatory, it's focused on and an object outside of exploration, and it goes into high peak of arousal. Just like imagine a father and son going to the ball game and screaming together, getting up together when there is a, a goal or something mm -hmm. or hit. Okay, so it's a little bit different with father and mother, but it's child specific. And those specific moments that you have again and again and again with a parent are carried out within the relationship for life. We now have studies following kids from birth to 24 years, and you could see every couple of years we, f we come back and we film them, and you see the mother and the three months old and the mother and the 25 year old, and it's the same rituals, the same, you know, they talk about different things when they're 25, sure. but that so, yeah. little underlying music is, is amazing how it keeps in the relationship and it's specific to me and you. And I think children and parents' brain coordinate during those moments and that's how the parents' mature brain externally regulate the infant's immature brain. And so this, this um, dance, this, the, this interaction, this dyadic interaction and these rituals, is, is this the mechanism through which the, the infant then gets wired in a way where, where they will develop the same kinds of approaches and skill sets right. that, the, that the mom or, or the dad may have in terms of their style right. of, uh, of we, interaction? We, we believe yes. And we believe that it happens in diet-specific ways in health. That during those moments when we coordinate our species typical patterns of behavior, and they're culture specific. In some in some cultures, uh, let's say you know we we investigate uh, investigated Palestinian culture or non-Western culture, those patterns involve much more touch or carrying babies or soothing babies through proximity. And in Western society, it's more like stimulating children through talking with them or matching gaze and affect with them. So in every culture, there is not only the species typical, but the culture typical patterns. And this is how we incorporate young children into the social world, the social right. world of adults, the social world of non-keen adults, the social world of our society. We transmit our meaning system. And during those m moments of coordinated behavior, there's also coordination of our physiological system. So we found out that during those moments of coordination, also mothers and infants' heart rhythm coordinate. Their hormonal release, so they release oxytocin to the same extent when they are coordinated and their brain works together.